five things a narcissistic person does not want you to know. I'm Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand narcissism and to heal from toxic people in your life and transform your life after narcissistic toxic relationships. So let's just jump in with number one. They don't want you to know the truth. The truth. They don't want you to know the truth of who they are and how they are. And I would even go so far as maybe it's that they don't want you, not that they don't want you to know it, it's they don't want you to believe it. And maybe they want you to know it, but not believe it. They want you in that state of confusion, which is cognitive dissonance, right? So that you believe one thing, but you know another. In that state, they can control you. In that state, you don't know which side of your self to believe right you have one thought and one feeling conflicting you know the truth about them but you can't believe it how could someone be this way how could they be that how could they love me all these years do they love me they want you in that state of confusion about the truth about who they are and how they are so that they can continue to control you and continue to seek your supply have you guys dealt with that in your life and as you're listening to these five things let me know in the comments of this video what you think so we can continue talking about it okay number two they don't want you to know that they have vulnerabilities and a low self-esteem they really don't a covert narcissist who's like a vulnerable narcissist they may go around showing you their supposed vulnerabilities and what a victim they are and how sad they are and all of that that isn't true vulnerability what they don't want you to know is they're egotistical those types right and the egotist doesn't want you to know that they're vulnerable they don't want you to see where they see themselves. They really hate that. They hate when there is self-awareness because yes, they can have some levels of self-awareness. It's just that they don't care enough to do anything about it because there's no empathy driving that care to do anything about it. They don't care how you feel about what they do. They just don't. And so they won't change any of these things even if there is a level of self-awareness. But they don't want you to see through anything, any of their mistakes, any of their flaws, any of their vulnerabilities, any of the ways they need to change themselves in order to be better people. They don't want you to see it. Number three, they don't want you to know that they're attention seeking every second of the day. That not only from you, but from the world around them, they're pulling attention toward them. They don't want you to see that attention seeking. You might not give them supply if you did, right? And you might call them on it when they're trying to take it from other people if you did. It's kind of part of the vulnerability thing, but it's really more specific about the way they're seeking the supply. So if you're struggling in narcissistic relationships right now, check out the information after this video in the main description because there is help available with coaching, group coaching, or peer support. And I just wanted to throw that in here because this topic is gonna to show you all the ways in which the narcissist in your life is hiding things from you, controlling you from hiding things from you, and is putting up defenses against you to keep their life cushy the way they want it and to make sure they stay in control. And that brings us to number four, which is the narcissist does not want you to know that they desire control and power. They do not desire love and equality in relationships. They desire control and power. They want to control everything about it. They want you to believe there's something they're not. That's the ultimate control, isn't it? To try and make someone in a relationship believe that you're something you're not. And then, order, and then to function in the relationship from that place. They don't want you to know that because it bursts the bubble. It takes the bubble of delusion that they live in and it pops it. If you know that they're seeking this control and power, they, they have nothing. If you guys are enjoying this content, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and the notifications so that you can receive information when videos do come out. And let me know in the comments, like I said, what you would add to this list if we were to do 10 things. And the number five that I want to say here real quickly is the most important one. And this one, maybe something that you've actually stopped believing yourself. This one can change your life, okay? This one can bring you back into a sense of self and can help you make choice rather than falling under the spell of the narcissist and the trauma bonding. The number five thing that is at the number one thing to help you. Are you ready? That you 
have power, agency, and will of your own. The narcissist does not want you to know that. In fact, that's the first thing they destroy by controlling you, isolating you, getting you to believe that you are exactly who they need, grooming you, love bombing you. This is what they're doing is they're controlling you and then you lose your sense of self. You lose your sense of agency. You lose your sense of power to act upon your own will and to make choice. They want you there. That is the ultimate control. If they can keep you there, they have all the power. And if they have all the power, they can keep the delusion alive and they can make everything orbit around them. So if you need help with that, like I said, reach out, okay? So those are just five things narcissists don't want you to know. You let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye-bye.